Uh, first off, good morning again, everybody. Welcome aboard the Sea Star California Collaborative Fisheries Research Program. That's what it is, right? Why is this special for all of you besides getting to go fishing for free? You're citizen scientists today, and that's a good thing because you're actually contributing to the collection of data that eventually affects us as uh, sport fishermen and also as market uh, commercial fishermen, but especially with this group, uh, sport fishermen. Because the decisions that Fish and Game Commission and ultimately Department of Fish and Wildlife that they make are all based on data. And this happens to be the data that we're collecting to see if these marine protected areas are really as effective as they were originally planned. So that's what we're doing. And we're comparing what's inside the marine protected areas to what's outside in the adjacent areas. So the theory is, if you close an area and there's no take of any kind, that eventually whatever lives there is gonna prosper, reproduce, and then you get some overflow. And it could be plants and animals, because plants also expand, right? And so do the invertebrates and the fin fish. But we don't know if that's true. That's why we're doing this, hook and line survey. For your part, as you know, we have two grids, and the grids are 500 meter squares that we drift through. We make three drifts, relatively uh, long drifts, but anywhere from 10 minutes to 15 minutes, depending on the speed of the drift. Uh, but we make at least three in, e in each grid, and then we move on to the next one. So you never know on these trips. The thing that I like to always remind people is, I don't get to pick where we fish or how we fish. So keep that in mind. This isn't a sport fishing trip, right? So there's all these protocols that we're following. Sometimes you drop down, boom, you're bit right away. Boom, boom, boom. Other times you drift the whole way, you never get a bite. You never know, both in the MPA and outside. So you just have to be prepared. You have to hang in there. We ask you as anglers, though, to keep your lines in the water during the drifts as long as you can. So if you get a bite, you think, well, I better check my bait. Crank up, okay, I still got my bait. Drop right down. Right? If you have to rebate, don't, well, okay, here, let me put my rod down, let me walk over here. Just kind of move quickly and try to get yourself back in the water, all right? Because it's important. Hi, my name is Jack Elsner. I'm the lead field tech for the California Collaborative Fisheries Research Program here in San Diego. Our program is all about monitoring the effectiveness of California's MPA network. We take a group of fishermen out on a sport boat so we conduct standardized hook and line surveys inside and outside of the reserve, measuring things like the abundance of fish, the size of fish, the biodiversity, and comparing inside of the reserve to outside to evaluate the performance of California's MPAs. So we're building a database that allows us to see how well our MPAs are working. And then in doing so, we're also building trust and collaboration between academic scientists, fisheries managers, and the recreational angling community in San Diego. Tag number 28318. Yeah. Good condition. 294. I'll give you a total length as well. 301. Tag number is 
319. Nine, ocean white fish. Partially averted stomach. 232. Two. Condition five, no tag. Number four, kelp bass. 316. Good condition. Tag number 28321. Kelp rockfish. 304. Diverted stomach to be descended. Tag number So to sign up for our trips, you can send an email to catchreporter at gmail.com. One of our staff will send you an email back with all of our availability. We do 12 trips a summer. Half are out of Oceanside and half are out of Mission Bay. The sampling, the MPAs in each of those locations. So just give us an email and we'll get you signed up.